good old Diablo uh, Zero 2 and if they can actually bring that from the draft let's see what kind of draft we go into as we get into game number three in Dragon Shire this time of course macros matter a lot and likely to see some global heroes in play I imagine so probably gonna see that Falstad ban burned into the screen on this map for quite some time yep we we've seen that too many times and also Zarya ban has been coming out, especially against Spring Mixtape, because No Chat is really favoring Zarya. But that looks like that's not even necessary for Tempest. They can ban out something else. Well, all they have to do is ban Vala, and I feel like the idea is the same. We saw that in Game One. I think that's something they may consider going into Game Three. Uh, they don't have to though. The Varian ban is still very strong. Let's well, not call this too early. But we saw a sign. He can play anything, and he's the man that <laughs> more than 1v5, man. It was Focus insane. Morales. That's what Sign was trying to say, man. He's, he was a living Reddit comment that came to fruition. He was the he was the allied chat <laughs> in full form. So you see the Zeratul into the uh, false dad, and this will leave the variant open, but denies that Zeratul pick. Also leaves Tychus Mephirian and also Dehaka can be another choice. We, especially today, we see Tychus up, all the way up in the draft. I wonder if Supreme Mixtape will actually just take Ragnaros Dehaka here. Um, Tychus has been slowly moving his way up. So it's not a shocker that we see Tychus come in in the first rotation for Tempest, but it means that Ragnaros might be taken away from them here. The other alternative, of course, is to focus on, uh, instead of the Ragnaros, the range damage. Because that's kind of what we've banned away here with the Falstad gone, Tychus being taken. So they take Li Ming. And what Mixtape may do is just second ban Ragnaros. Mm -hmm. That can be a good choice because they oh, picking a Li Ming in the second rotation of picks. That means they want to hide their DPS and also take away Leeming from lockdown. This could be problematic somewhat. And Tempest, they have Kerosene up there. Not that banned. It is banned now. Okay, this is smart. It's it's not a strong ban in terms of team comps. There's the second ban Rag I was talking about. Scarlet has played every healer except Uther in terms of meta healers and has played Brightwing, Morales, Rhaegar, Malfurion, Karazim, Ariel, like... You ban the Karazim and he's like, Oh, that's actually my least played. I've only played it once. So, I'm cool with that. And, uh, it's a solid ban in terms of, like, removing the mobility hero on the Karazim. Uh, but it means that for SMT Scarlet's well, like, Okay, well, I have an insanely large healer, healer pool, so I'm not too worried about that. For Tempus now, they're really giving some thought to the ETC because they want that post-10 global. They want that early game pressure. ETC not really that prioritized in our two last best of fives mm -hmm. tonight. Like, he's really gone down quite a bit. And it was more than that. It took his spot somewhat. ETC did come out a lot, but less compared to what we've seen in the last yesterday and the last week. All right, so they take him anyways over the Muradin. And they're going to take Gul'dan. This leaves Supreme Mixtape with a choice of uh, Sergeant Hammer. We, we could see Sergeant Hammer Morales again on this map. We've seen it a lot in the past, uh, even going back as far as um, Sergeant Hammer Morales, Edward Gaming versus MVP Black Grand Finals, the Spring Finals uh, here in Korea. I think Tempest can just finish up with their draft with a Tyrio, which they highly favor and likely to see in this map also. I think you're right. I think that's probably what we're going to see. Um, and Modern Life playing on it. It's fi it fits. Like yeah. Duck Duck on Tychus, Ma Hyde, Mafirian, Sign, ETC, and Lockdown on Gul'dan, and Modern Life on Tyrio. It, I think it fits perfectly if it goes to that draft. Trim Mixtape, they're giving a long... They're taking a long time thinking about this last two picks. Rhaegar Thrall. Okay, it is going to be Wiz, so gonna Solo be Lane, and Thrall. Yeah, they have three melees here. Two tanky melees and then the Bruiser with one damage. There's the Tyrael pickup. You called it right away. 
Good call, and to be honest, I think the draft of Tempest looks a lot stronger. The one thing they're missing is the pre-10 globals, so they're going to need to dominate with wave clear, which they do have. Would really like to see Moonburn coming out here from Hyde to help with that a little bit. As we go into what could be our last game of the evening here, Tempest up 2-0, looking to close this series out. They're on match point. Supreme Mixtape, the underdogs, they've had some creative drafts tonight. Not successful yet, this could be their first win. We'll find out as we go into Dragonshire. Team Tempest in blue. Hyde on Malfuria and Duck Duck on Tigus. Lockdown on Gul'dan. Sign on ETC and Modern Life on Tyrion. Calm down, Duck Duck. You'll need a hearth. In red, Spring Mistape. Scarlet on Regar. Dutu on Li Ming. Wiz on Thrall. Judy on Darien. And no chat on the Haka. Malfurion going to take Scouting Drone for safety against that Brush Stalker. Not going to take that uh, Moonburn, unfortunately. Hyde actually getting dragged. That Scouting Drone didn't help him out too much here, but signed with a good power slide. And this is why you don't try to level one in ETC comp, especially at the tri brush here. Oopsie daisy, it was two almost, deaths. It was baited a little bit, and sign coming around from the side with that big power slide. Seems like Swim Mix Team has been losing the level one fight consistently every single time. And no chance. Oh my god. Okay, at least he dodged this, but face melt is still available. He's just barely going to get out, I think. Tried to get the drag. Nice try at the end. This is his ninth hero playing out of the out of the 14 games he played so far so far in HCC Korea. Heroes meta right now, man. A lot of heroes are viable. It's pretty cool. It's the most viable meta I think we've had in history, and obviously that's going to continue to be that way as reworks happen and more heroes get released. Judy is caught and. Is that going to be enough damage? It is Modern Life taking that kill. Lockdown also very low, but taking the straining that HP out of Scarlet at the moment. Dudu with no ability to do damage because Hyde and Modern Life blocked so well there. All of his skill shots. And he, like, leaving basically doesn't do damage with her right click. So that was really well played by Tempest there. Three kills to zero. That's going to give him the wave clear they needed that I was talking about for the early game to make sure they get 10 first. They can get that global on the ETC. I mean, they're looking for even more here. Wiz tries to get that Rudolph on the sign here. There's the power slide in. Judy healed up a little bit more, but he goes down. A nice shot by Lockdown over the wall. He drains Wiz, who then becomes rooted. Modern Life there for the body block if they needed it, which they didn't. And five kills to zero. Tempest is dominate. Dominating. No word. No Gudan is so powerful when he's low on HP. You want to get that kill because Gudan does not have the mobility skill. But when you go nearby that, you have to make sure that Drain is gone. That Drain actually survived, made him, made him live for twice. He was like, thanks for the health and the mana for my fell build. I queued you. You're out. Nice try, Wizzy. And also great job by Sign, always going for that cover. And Duck Duck is in a big trouble here. He almost gets the kill on a no chat. Almost. Close. Did you see his his movement there too to dodge the drag? <laughs> Daka died. They went up to gank. This isn't even being shown on screen. MDK is like, well, I never got ganked in top lane. I'm not watching. <laughs> <laughs> Very Maybe that's stuff. true. <laughs> gets two more kills. And Sign then. Sign <laughs> really. I believe he pushed all the front first wall in the, in the mid, and this is his second wall. He's got this wall is is yeah almost com gone. almost completely. Second wall is out of ammo. The gate is at like two percent health, so it's gonna go down soon. The minions um, gonna start pouring through there. That was like the most you can do with the first Dragon Knight, and Tempest already in a full level, a little more lead against Supreme Mixtape as they have seven kills. Lots of kills from the beginning. ETC is just so strong in the early game, and yes, he doesn't have a global yet until he gets 10, but he kind of drives himself there this game with uh, the plays we're seeing from Sign. This is greedy, 
But I like it because they're going to take this neutral cap, which will help relieve some of the pressure here. And they have Soak in top. So this is wise by a Supreme Mix tape. It's risky. But sometimes you got to make risky choices when you're behind like this. As Dudu is actually considering going back for mana. Decides not to because he needs to be here to help deal with this push. No chat. Should be fine here, but that's a lot of ammo wasted. The ammo on that top turret set getting pretty low as Tempest is getting closer and closer to 10. Signs making that r perfect rotations up and down. The Modern Life does get caught, but just not too hard to manage to escape from there as Tyrio, of course. Four hits there for Lockdown's Q as well, going right down the line. And this is Supreme Mixtape should be taking this EXP lead as they have the Haka, but it's no, no chat is just stuck up there because Tempest has that strong push at the bottom lane. It's really hard to just have 1-1-3 one, one, distributed from Supreme Mixtape and Duct Up really doing a great job pressuring that top lane. When uh they're when they are in this kind of neutral game, they bully no chat. And then when they're not no chat has to kind of sit there and take the soak, and then they bully everybody else. It's that ETC power. Um, Duck Duck is going to try to bait here, but with only sign, this is a bit risky. But you know what? Judy gets, he falls for it. He's in trouble. Good bait here. Gets the power slide. See you later, Judy. Easy bait there. They get 10. There's the horrify, sanctification, and stage dive yes. for good measure. And this is just incredible play out of Tempest. They are really feeling it. This may actually be a very short game. Number three going to Tempest. Let's see if Supreme Escape can actually turn this around. At the moment, it looks super tough as it's over two level lead Tempest and this Dragon Knight has to go to Tempest again. Definitely will. They even get their choice of hero. It's gonna be Sign as that bot push continues. Still no 10 for Mixtape. Mid wall down. Bot wall probably down by now uh, with Tyrael there in the bot lane. Judy somehow avoiding that uh, kick there. Not entirely sure how that interaction occurred, but gonna help them put this Dragon Knight down as you actually see the rotation down for lockdown to bot to get that extra EXP. They're already thinking about their level 13 lead. Yep, and they're making the right push. Not really losing any EXP. And it is Premix tape losing EXP right now because they just let that bottom, I'm pretty sure they lost at they least lost the one whole or wave. two. Yeah, yeah, a whole wave and one or two more. That is also when they have the Haka just, but the Haka is so committed to top when they have Duck Duck pushing the entire lane. And it's because of this level lead that they have created from the beginning. And now they have stage dive. They don't have, they don't even have ETC up there. It's Tychus. Yeah, Tychus has been bullying no chat the entire game. Duck Duck is just, he's trying to force rotations up so that his team can cut them off. The reason why they don't have sign up there is because they've been having these cutoff kills, these ganks where basically Duck Duck's forcing these rotations and sign is hiding in the bush waiting for them. And uh, in this case, he lets them rotate up, but he's already gone. So this rotation at the top just feels foolish at this point. And in terms of vision control, it's completely controlled by Tempest right now. Scarlet is in some serious trouble, barely avoids that face melt backwards, but we'll lose the fort anyways. Here's the rotation down finally here for Supreme Big Sape. They might be able to take a fight with even talent tiers here, but they're down two levels. Yeah, after hitting level 10, Dochat joins the fight and Duck Duck is taunted at the moment, but pretty good sank to just keep them alive. Laser drill, a sign on the front line. Scarlet so low, does get taken down. Great thundering to disengage, but that's gonna be just it for the moment. And actually, Tyria's gonna pick up a kill here too. Hyde gets that root again. The double stun here for Sign. What can't this team do right now? Um, we did see eventually Modern Life go down there, but what great coordination. Mm -hmm. Start to finish. We saw a cleanse to try to stop the Horrify, but the Horrify was already so good that it just almost didn't matter. And it's 11 kills to two now. Two forts down. and. Had they had a little bit more mana, Tempest would be looking at another Dragon Knight channel right now. Yep, and they can. It's just it's just gonna take them a little bit more time and no chat may find himself in trouble as Sign is blocking him out. It is 3v3 and the rest of the team actually joins all the way to the bot. 
And Duck Duck is gonna take some time to join the team fight, so they're backing off at the moment. But it is actually oh, surprise! Is. Lockdown is called for the moment. No Chat gets ancestral, but Lee Ming gets blown up at the time. Really nice and unsurprised. They're gonna commit to this fight. Judy going in all the way with the taunt there at the beginning. They don't have that anymore. The stage dive here gonna secure the kill on the thrall. Off camera as he goes up there, and I mean I guess No Chat got top. The stage dive was used, so. Instead of, instead of going for that DK, they're just going to press this hard on the bottom lane. This, uh, I mean, the level of play mechanically that we're seeing from Tempest in these fights, especially led by Sign and everything else is just kind of this follow through, is really good. Sign with the stuns, Hide with the roots, and <laughs> the stage dive to kill Wiz earlier was, was, as much as it was off camera, I'm sad about it, but it was really funny. Judy is just really heavily committing to these taunts over and over and over again, but there's just no follow-up. They're Even down a talent here. They might be down two. Yeah, but they just used Horrify and Laser. Maybe this is the chance for Spring Mixtape to actually bring this a lot back, but Ancestral's down Sundering, available in six seconds. Let's see what happens. Well, this is what's happening here. They overextended trying to turn this fight. Sink, somewhat wasted here. It just doesn't matter. No Chat takes his hand off the mouse as he knows he is dead there. And Lockdown's draining off the healing well as they're going for this keep. Can they make it happen? The double talent tier dream. It looks like they just barely might. They need another minion wave or this keep before it's going to happen. But Supreme Mixtape's not split soaking during this either. There's the minion wave they were looking for. This keep nearly dead. 16 to 12 would be pretty nice to rotate mid and try to uh, get that second keep wall. Yep, the Haka just came back and Varian also. They had some works available, but also Twilight Dream can cancel everything that they're trying to do. We should go for a Sundering here on lockdown. If he can get the angle, not gonna happen. Here comes the stage dive. Wiz was looking for that Sundering, does nothing here. He's caught, he's alone, he is dead. And that is going to likely be a keep here at the very least as No Chat will be the second to go down. Burst down by Duck Duck. Scarlet is low. Killed there. Helped finished off by the Moonfire. Modern Life in risky position here, but will get away. And Lockdown is just poking and poking and poking. 16's up. This keep is dead. They won't be able to core here with the low respawn timers, but Tempest looking on another level right now. Yep, they really brought the team fight back. A sign stage dive right in. Wiz even got Ancestral before going down in this amount of damage focused on Wiz was intense. No chat not really doing too much from the side. He couldn't make a big play as Wiz was already caught and Thundering was down. Feels like Tempest has their coordination together where Supreme Mixtape, they are just all over the place. I feel like it will, in that last fight, right before Lockdown got to the shrine, Wiz was in position to Sunder him. Had that happened and they taunted and got a grab, that's Lockdown dead, and then they hit take a 5v4. He didn't have the confidence to call that out, which is uncharacteristic of Wiz because he's such a good shot caller. He's such a smart brain for the team. And, you know, there's these... I've seen moments where I feel like Super, Supreme Mixtape can take a fight, get a pick, but they're just not confident enough to do so, whereas Tempest seems to have really even leveled up from what we saw from last time. The more times we see this five-man together, and especially how well Modern Life is really transitioning and starting to feel like a part of the team. This team could be a top three contender, perhaps, you know, towards later into the season. Um, might be the teams that, one of the teams could, could challenge L5 or MVP Black. Yeah, exactly. And they're really grown, and especially Modern Life stepping up with that play with Zeratul today and Tyrael, of course, enlarging his hero pool. He can really show, he's really showing that he's part of the team, really belongs to the team. And this entire time, Sina has been pushing on top, but not using stage dive to come in. He's gonna just gonna walk here and take take down this keep. As Horrify on Scarlet. Will he get out? Doesn't look like he is gonna be relevant in this fight as he has to retreat here. Siege Giants and Catapults coming towards the core. There's a big cleanse on a modern life. He still has Sank here. There's the ancestral. Now it's used. No chat trying to peel what he can. As the mid keep is gone, they are going to back off and regroup. 
Duck Duck way up in the front. Here's the stage dive in. Two kills already. Wiz is dead. No chat's dead. Judy going to be the third. No. In fact, it's actually Scarlet as Dudu is pushed into the corner here. 24 kills to two. 14 minutes on the core here. Sank at Ice Block for a celebration as Tempest will 3 0 Supreme Mix safe. Did not expect this series to be this one sided. 14 minutes and 20 seconds, and it is 3 0 going to Tempest. The series was so fast, and that last placement of that laser drill was just so perfect coming down from Duck Duck. What a well played team fight at the very end, as they had close to four level lead already. Strong team, and they, they're really showing it. They're bringing it to the games, and they're Confidence level, we can see that it's going up, and let's, let's see when they have to face L5 and maybe MVP Black later on. Maybe they have a chance to beat them. Well, I mean, I think that they're on the right track, mm -hmm. G Clef, to, to be too, totally honest with you.